to Wednesdays with Karen. In this episode, I'm going to share to you my beauty queen journey. Actually, I'm going to share it in details. Kung paano ko next start. Actually, I started with no experience outside of school to an international title. And I want to share to you in case that you also want to join. And I want to share to you a lot of things that I've never shared before. And you're going to get it exclusively on my blog. Paano nga ba ako nag start sa aking beauty queen journey? The first one that you need to understand is you need to have a desire. Nagkaroon ako ng desire to join a beauty pageant when I was already working. So, kinakailangan, hindi ka lang napupush to join. You need to want that. You need to have the desire. Because the desire is very, very important. And that's the first thing that will push you to achieve your goals and achieve what you want and the dreams that you have. Second one, know your purpose. Bakit mo bang gusto mo sumali? Dahil lang ba kasi gusto mo to be in the spotlight just like other people? Kinakailangan may purpose ka. In my case, I wanted to share a message to people. And until now, ginagawa ko yung sinabi ko when I joined Miss Earth. At the same time, I wanted to bring my field to life. Kasi gusto ko maintindihan ng tao kung anong ginagawa ko. So I maximized it. At the same time, I wanted to break the stereotype of beauty pageants. Kasi sinasabi nila na ang beauty pageant lang daw is taong... May itsura pero hindi marunong magsalita or walang masasabi, which is not true. Kasi pageants nowadays have evolved and there are so many professionals using this field to maximize it, to reach out to people. And that's what actually we have done. To be honest, I want to also advise you that if you want to join, it's better na tapos ka na sa studies mo. Kasi if you really want to share something, you're going to be credible enough to share it if you already finished your studies at the same time para hindi maging hindrance ang pageant to finish your school. I have some tip to share to you. A desire with maturity and experience will give you the right purpose. You have to remember that. Because totoo yun, kailangan matured ka, kailangan may experience ka, at nagsustart siya with a desire to give you the right purpose of why you want to do things. Third one, you need to find your edge. Kailangan sa isang competition, maintindihan mo pa paano ka magsistand out. Kasi ang daming girls na magaganda at very fit, so iniisip mo pa paano ka magsistand out. Kailangan kilala mo yung sarili mo. So ano yung kailangan mo hanapin na strength? In my case, wala pong sumasali na physicist or scientist in the competition, so I maximize the opportunity in that area. At the same time, kailangan mo kasi isipin kung paano ka makikita ng ibang tao. Anong magiging difference mo sa kanila? You need to have a story to tell. But don't get me wrong, hindi mo kailangan mag-create ng story or mag-fabricate ng story on your own para lang mapansin ka ng ibang tao. Kasi nakakalata ng public kapag gumagawa ka lang ng story on your own. So do not make a story just for the sake of people noticing you. You really have to be authentic. Let's go to my preparation for my Miss Philippines Earth. A lot of people know na hindi talaga ito yung first pageant ko. I started with Binibining Pilipinas and I didn't win in Binibining Pilipinas. And you know what? I'm so grateful. Kasi despite of what happened, naging part sa akin yung pagkatalo ko at na mas naintindihan ko at mas na-cherish ko yung pagkapanalo ko. Because I know what it means to lose and I know what it means to win. And I can guide other people as well to pursue what you're called to do. Number one, during nagkaprepare ako ng Miss Philippines Earth, you have to surround yourself with trusted people. In my case, I was trained by KF. You know, no una ako nakita ng Tito Rogel, wala akong experience sa beauty pageants outside of school. But you know, he saw something in me and he accepted and trained me from nothing into something. And I'm so grateful for the people that I am surrounded with because truly they have made my beauty queen journey a huge difference. No una ako nakita ng Tito Rogel, hindi nga niya alam na baka pwedeng manalo or baka manalo siya in the future. He just honestly invested on me. Wala akong connections when it comes to beauty pageants. Wala akong connections with makeup artists. Wala akong connection with gowns. Wala nga akong pageant shoes. So literally, I was coming from nothing into something that I want to enter. And can you imagine during my time, I was training with people who have competed in pageants ever since they were young. 
So I was such an underdog. Can you imagine kung paano ko na build dahan dahan and then nagkaroon ng international competition or international title? Number two, you have to prepare early. If you really decided to join a competition, kailangan mo prepare ng maga. Do not do it the last minute. I know na may sakit ang mga Pilipino doing it the last minute, but that's not really good in this case. Kasi in this aspect or in this platform, you need to prepare financially. Isipin mo, kinakailangan mo mag-prepare financially with your makeup, with your shoes, with your clothes, with your food, with your transportation. So if I were you, I will save money as early as now. You have to give space to build your confidence. Hindi nangyayari ang confidence overnight. Hindi rin siya nangyayari in a week. It takes time to build your confidence. Alam mo nung nag ako, I trained with Janessa Lubina. She is one of the people I look up to when it comes to confidence. Grabe yun. Sobrang galing niya. Kapag nag-start na siyang maglakad sa camp, lahat ng tao umuupo at lahat ng tao walang gustong lumakad with her. Because she is oozing with confidence when she starts to walk. That's how good Janice Lubina is. And she's one of the people that I looked up to. Sabi ko, I want to be just like her kasi sobrang galing niya. True enough, after quite some time, I was able to build my confidence and to build my name. The next one is prepare emotionally. This time, kinakailangan mo siyang gawin kasi you're going to come out in the public. If you are the type of person who's very much private, you have to prepare yourself emotionally dahil lalabas ka in the public's eye. You are going to share your story to people. So if I were you, importante na alam mo na yung sarili mo bago ka lumabas. Kasi kahit na anong sabihin sa'yo ng tao, pag kilala mo yung sarili mo, hindi ka maapit. The next one is to prepare physically. You need to prepare your body because you have to be fit. Hindi nagiging toned ang isang tao overnight or over a month. It really needs to take time. So if I were you, I would prepare early. I would go to the gym. I would get a trainer to help me have a good body that is prepared for a pageant on stage. Kailangan mo rin kasing i-prepare yung tinatawag na walk and posture kasi hindi siya mabilis makuha. That's why you need to have trainings. During my time, nag-training ako ng gabi kasi my trainers have work in the morning so we train at night. I started with nothing. I started with the basic steps, literally, before I went into having my own movements for the international competition. Iba-iba po pala ang walk ng evening gown at ng swimsuit. So here is a sample of my evening gown walk during the Miss Philippines Earth. Karen Ibasco. As a physicist, she understands the importance of daily consumption of energy. That is why her environmental advocacy is the conservation of energy and to embrace renewable and sustainable sources of energy in exchange for fossil fuels. Karen Ibasco, City of Manila. And this one is a sample naman of my walk during the swimsuit of Miss Philippine Earth. Karen Ibasco, City of Manila. May difference talaga ang walk when it comes to swimsuit at evening gown. Kaya kinakailangan mo siya talagang arali. The next one is to prepare mentally. Prepare mentally means that you have to prepare yourself for the question and answer portion. I were you as early as now, you have to read, read, read. You have to be knowledgeable kasi hindi mo alam ko ano yung pwede matanong sa yung questions. Do not prepare for the Q&A kasi nag-decide ka palang sumali. Kailangan even before that, nagbabasa ka na. Kailangan knowledgeable ka na. Kailangan gusto mong matuto kasi madadala mo yung mga bagay na natutan mo if you want to join a competition. Next one, you need to practice, okay? You need to practice your Q&A. You do not memorize. I have seen a lot of girls that memorize their answers on stage and the moment they forgot one word, they got lost on stage at wala na silang nasabi. This is a segment of a competition that people are so afraid of because you're going to speak and hindi mo alam kung paano ka tatanggapin ng tao. Kaya kinakailangan mo siyang paghandaan. 
and this is a sample of my question and answer during the Miss Philippines Earth. Government slogan is, change is coming. What change do you want to see in terms of environmental policies in the country? In terms of environmental policies, everyone experiencing climate change, the whole world experiencing climate change, and I'm just grateful that the Philippines has signed the Paris Treaty. What I want to see is to pass a carbon tax. In that way, we would invest in renewable energy to help our world to be a better place, a greener and habitable for the whole humanity. Thank you. To be honest, I'm impressed with the final answer ko during the Miss Philippines Earth. I had no idea how to make it better for the Miss Earth competition, to be honest. Counting trivia lang. Did you guys know that the only competition or only pageant that I've watched locally and internationally is Miss Philippines Earth and Miss Earth lang? Wala kong ibang pageants na napanood live. Only those two competitions. At napanood ko sila both in Mo Arena. It was like God was telling me, this is going to be your arena in the future. And it did happen. Nag Miss Philippines Earth at Nag Miss Earth ako both in Mo Arena when I won. Ngayon, pumunta naman tayo sa aking Miss Earth preparation. Ngayon, kapag nag-prepare ka na for an international competition, everything has to be upgraded. Your Q&A, your walk, your fit body, everything. During my time, I was given a very, very short amount of time. And that's one of the things that I had a hard time to do. I was given for about two and a half months to three months lang from winning a national competition to an international competition. At the same time, meron pang responsibilities of Miss Philippines Earth. So, hindi ako exempted. Like, during my time when I was preparing for the international competition, I was invited by the Department of Finance, by the Secretary himself, to come in one of the Senate hearings. At walang ibang makatulong sa akin kasi wala pong gumagawa nun. So, kinakailangan ko talaga to study the Senate hearings, what I was supposed to say, and all that. At the same time, ang dami ko responsibilities like tree planting, and school tours, and so on that I have to always be there for Miss Philippines Earth. At the same time, kinakailangan ko pang mas maintindihan what's happening to the planet. So, I had to do my research. I still had to better my walk. Usually, kapag nag international competition, binabago yung walk. Kinakailangan meron kang tinatawag na sariling walk kapag nag international competition. So can you imagine how I put everything together in a very short amount of time? So the number one thing I can really share to you for an international preparation is to push your limit. You really have to push it. Kasi this will happen only once in a lifetime. At hindi lahat nangyayari yan sa lahat ng tao. When I say push your limit, you have to be better in your Q&A. You have to deepen your knowledge of the things that you need to know for the Q&A. So in my case, I furthered my research and I continually practice my question and answer. Kasi I had no idea kung paano siya pagagandahin pa for the Miss Earth competition. Because I personally was just so impressed when I answered the Miss Philippines Earth. And then the next one is you have to prepare for your signature walk. That is in that case, your swimsuit and your long gown. So you have to prepare for that. The next one is do not compare yourself. During an international competition, you will be with girls of different nationalities. You will have different strengths. You will have different weaknesses. Do not compare yourself. You have to maximize your strength. You have to remember that you are unique. Third one is you have to finish what you came to do. Remember, you're not doing this only for yourself. You're doing this for your family and you're doing this for your country. That's one of the things that's very, very important. You're doing this for the Philippines. Did you know that I got sick days before the coronation night of Miss Earth? My body was so tired. Para hindi ko na siya kaya kasi ang tagal ng pre-pageant ng Miss Earth. It was almost a month. And then lahat ng sponsors and lahat ng tao gusto laging nandun yung Philippines. I was just so tired, you know. Pero kailangan ko siyang i-push. Kina kailangan ko siyang matapos. I have to finish what I came to do. You know, hindi ito yung panahon kung dapat akong mag-give up. Kasi malapit na ako dun sa goal. So nakakahiya na pag malapit na yung finish line, dun ka pala na pa. Oh yeah, during the national costume, this one, and during my press con, I was sick during that day. And those two events or activities happened in just one day. 
can you imagine how I had to push myself kahit I was burning up with fever? And that day I actually won two gold medals. And one thing that people don't know, during my national costume, this one, uh, it was not supposed to be up on my bike. And I actually trained with an umbrella on hand. So when I came to the costume, I was like, it's on my bike. So I had to incorporate a movement on my own na walang trainers kung paano ko siya i-execute ng pamaypay at walang payong. So may mga bagay na gano'n in the competition. Kailangan flexible ka. Hindi pwedeng kung anong natutunan mo, hanggang dun ka na lang. You have to apply different things as well. And you have to be ready no matter what's gonna happen. And you know, days before the coronation night, when we were already rehearsing in Moa Arena, I saw this sash. And I said to myself, I will not leave this arena without this sash on me. I literally said that. And days before the competition, I honestly felt the crown was placed on my head. That's actually true. You would actually feel it. Saka hindi ko ma-imagine na yung crown nilalagay sa ulo ng ibang girls. I really want that crown for myself. And just a trivia, this is my original sash that I won from the night of the coronation. And these are my pins in the countries that I went to. At the same time, sa Miss Earth, actually, dalawa yung sash namin. Ito yung sash na kapag ka panalo mo palang. At ito yung sash na makukuha mo when you give your crown away to another Miss Earth winner. Usually, dalawa yung sashes kasi yung iba nasisira nila yung sash nila in their whole reign. So, sayang naman. So, you have something to remember your reign with your sash. And here are clips during my Miss Earth pageant, starting with a long gown. Pins! Miss Philippines is pushing for the conservation of energy and to embrace renewable sources of energy in exchange for fossil fuels. Philippines! The Philippines! She has a master's degree in applied physics and taught math in one of the most prestigious universities in the Philippines. Philippines! This one is hashtag biodiversity. Biodiversity is very important. We are very known in the Philippines to have a lot of biodiversity. And they're very important because they also balance the ecosystem. It's very important for us to protect them because as we protect them, we protect the environment to help save our home, our planet, our earth to be a better place to live in. Thank you. And to be honest, this is just a trivia that people usually don't know. No apat na lang kaping naiiwan for Miss Earth competition, meron kaming headphones. At yung headphones na yun, hindi siya noise cancellation. Ang lakas-lakas ng sound. At nung time ko nang tanongin for the final question, I believe parang nabingi ako ng ilang segundo. <laughs> no joke. That's why when James Deacon asked me this question, hindi ko talaga naiintindihan kung anong sinabi niya. Sumagot lang ako ng magandang gabi, Pilipinas, pero hindi ko talaga naiintindihan yung question. Good thing before nung final question, bumalik yung hearing ko. At narinig ko yung question ni James Deacon or the host of the Miss Earth and I was able to answer it properly. And this is my winning answer for the Miss Earth pageant. Who or what do you think is the biggest now with enemy of Mother Earth and why? I believe that the real problem in this world is not climate change. The real problem is us because of our ignorance and apathy. What we have to do is to start changing our ways, to start recalibrating our minds and redirecting our steps. Because together, as a global community, our micro efforts will have a macro effect to help save our home, our planet, our behavior. Thank you. And of course, winning was the goal. This Earth 2017 is... Mr. Ramon Monzon and Miss Earth 2016 Catherine S. Finn crown our Miss Lorraine Shuk and Mr. Sudesh Putran. But I gained 
friends for life that I treat as family and these are those people my Miss Earth sisters okay and this is the time for Ask Karen our first question is I'm trying to build my career as an OFW makeup artist dito po sa Taiwan honestly nangangapapo talaga ako any advice po paano mag-build ng client makeup artist relationship Minsan napapansin ko po kasi parang ang taray ko sa mga inaayusan ko, lalo na sa pageant. Thank you very much. So, that's the first thing. Huwag kang magiging mataray. Kasi kinakalangan mo i-build yung client relationship mo. So, you have to really be pasyon. So, so, kailangan mo maging better person kasi client mo sila. You have to always remember that your client is important and they are always... They, don't, they may not know everything, but you have to always give respect to your clients. In order for you to really gain a great relationship, you have to respect and be patient with your clients. That's it. Kasi ako, with my makeup artists, I am in good terms with them. And I love my makeup artists, and I work with them until now. So yeah, you really have to have good relationships with them. Okay, second question. Ano po ang feeling ng maging Miss Earth, Philippines and Miss Earth. Oh, that's a great question. Of course, it feels so amazing. I mean, can you imagine? I will forever be in the history of Philippines and I am so happy and so grateful. It feels amazing to be an international winner. Not just for myself, but for my country. And you know yung feeling na you were chosen and you were born and made for this. And I was able to grab the opportunity and it did happen in God's perfect timing. Third question. Paano mo na achieve or rather paano mo na overcome yung pagiging mahiyain? Actually, for those people who doesn't know me very much, when I was in high school, yes, I was shy. I do not speak in straight English and I cannot speak in front of a crowd. So it was just so funny because in my high school, I represented my class for the school pageant and I also won the actually next start lahat for me. But I was also shocked that I was able to answer straight in my QA during high school because I have huge stage frights and I cannot speak in front of a lot of people. There are steps for me that I took and perhaps I can share that in details during my talks. I do that in my talks and perhaps I can give you a glimpse in other episodes of my blog. But practically, what I can advise you is you really have to face your fears. You cannot let your fear paralyze you because you're not going to develop. You have to face it because fear is something that you have to overcome. You know, you, it, it's a huge stumbling block. And if you choose to just, so if you choose to stumble in that huge block and not stand up, that's your choice. You, know, you need to choose to stand up and to face that fear. Because that fear will not go away if you're not going to face it. So that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. I hope that you learned a lot and you have enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button for the next episodes. And do not forget to follow me on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. Till next episode with Wednesdays with Karen.